We've all seen those people out in public, right? Both men and women who just seem to have everything all figured out in terms of their style, right? Maybe you even know someone like that. And every time you see that person, they always look fantastic without being over the top. They're just plain and simple stylish. How do they do it? What do they know that you don't? Stick around and let's talk about it. And just for the record, you don't just wake up one day and just know everything there is to know, right? It's a process, just like anything else. And there's a lot of experimentation that's involved. Even now, I still experiment with different things and I still sometimes get it way wrong. But the key is I haven't stopped trying new things because without trying different styles and different fits and different trends, how do you even know what's going to work for you? If you never experiment with anything new, you'll just end up risking looking outdated quickly. Okay, let's talk about understanding fabrics. And for the sake of transparency, I just don't know everything there is to know about different types of fabric. But what I do know is drape, texture, and breathability. I can also spot the difference between cheap fabric and better fabric. So let me show you this. All right, let's start with this one. I'm gonna show you a couple different things here about fabrics. Now, this is a shirt that I've had for about a year from Macy's. It's their INC house label. Not the best, uh, but they sort of get the job done on a lower price point. I probably have needed to retire this thing about six months ago, but I wanna show you some of the edges. I'll get a close up so you guys can see this, but the edges and the seams are not doing well. You can see here that it kind of looks like an old pair of blue jeans. Now, I think after a few washes, I started to see this, but I just sort of kept going with it. Um, not the best, and it's always not necessarily, you're not always able to, to tell that something like this might happen, but let me show you this other thing that you can check. All right, gang, I have two white dress shirts. I'm gonna put this one right here for now, uh, and I don't know that you're gonna be able to see this from this distance, so I might have to redo this and get some close-ups. When you're shopping, grab a chunk of material and wad it up like this and let it go. How bad are those wrinkles? Can you just kind of pull them out like this? Do they stay there? The wrinkles stay on this shirt. Let's try the next one. Okay, the other shirt here. Um, you, can, you can already tell that this is a lot softer material. So I'm gonna wad this up. Now there are wrinkles, but they sort of fall out. They just sort of, you can just sort of play with it and stretch it and they sort of fall out. Let's try two more shirts. Okay, two more blue dress shirts. I'll put this one right here for right now. This is one of those four-way stretch shirts. This is uh, WRC is the brand on this one. I can wad this up nice and tight, and there's virtually no wrinkles in this thing at all. Like this is absolutely fantastic. Now this isn't necessarily an indication of quality, but more sort of wearability and maybe some durability. Like is it really crispy or is it a nicer, thicker, maybe a better quality material, I guess you could say. So this one is from Nordstrom's, what is it? Just Nordstrom Men's Shop. And we'll wrinkle this one up, see how this one goes. Not too bad. I mean, you can kind of pull these wrinkles back out and kind of pull on it and stretch it. And the wrinkles kind of go away. So this, this, this one would be kind of your middle of the road dress shirt. Just something I wanted to point out. So when you're shopping, maybe give it a shot, feel the fabric, what does it feel like? and sort of go from there. That might be an indication of, like I said, wearability and uh, how many wrinkles you're gonna have to deal with. Next is understanding color coordination. I've talked about this a bunch of times already, but if you haven't seen the color wheel, I'm gonna link to the one from Canva that I like to use down below. It's free and it's a great place to start. Understanding neutral colors and earth tones and what colors automatically complement each other is necessary and stylish guys know this. And just last week, I made like a five minute video of me just wearing a bunch of different outfits and items that just go really well together. I don't even remember how many times I changed my clothes for that video, but if you haven't seen it, it's worth watching. So you gotta check it out. I'll link to that one also down below. Now, another thing stylish guys know that you can totally copy is having versatile staples in your wardrobe, right? Having versatile pieces that can be worn in a lot of different ways is in my opinion anyway, massively important because that allows you to have a more streamlined wardrobe that's also incredibly versatile. But to begin with, polo shirts are a great example of that versatility, right? Get a few shirts like this in a couple different colors and you'll have like an almost endless number of options in your wardrobe. 
And the beautiful thing about these polo shirts from Collars & Co is this added stiffness that they put in the collar so it always looks perfect. Now Collars & Co is sponsoring today's video and like I mentioned before, they're becoming one of my favorite brands because not only can they help you elevate your wardrobe from head to toe, but they've got pieces now that you can wear to the office during the day, out at night, or even over the weekend when you just sort of want to relax. They've got long sleeve and short sleeve polos, sweaters, pants, blazers, and outerwear. Now I think their bread and butter are these amazing dress collar polo shirts that have that stiffness built in so they always look perfect. And they also have four different types of these collars. They've got the semi-spread, the English spread, the button down like this, and the cutaway collar. Also, I recently picked up a few sweaters, pullovers, and this shirt I'm wearing right now, and they're all fantastic. Now this brand hit the market with a lot of buzz around it because as you may or may not know, Mark Cuban from Shark Tank invested a million dollars into this company. So they started out with this dress collar polo, but now they've got so many more amazing items to help you expand your entire wardrobe. Now there's gonna be a link down below in the description to a special offer that's gonna get you a discount on anything that you wanna go grab. So hit that link, go check out these polos, the button shirts like this, the sweaters, because I'm telling you, the quality, fit, and feel of these items are absolutely amazing. Thank you Collars & Co for supporting my channel and for sponsoring today's video. All right, coming in next is understanding layering. So I like to think of it kind of like this. First of all, start with your thinnest layer first and then everything that you put on top of that gets thicker and heavier, obviously. Second, think about every single piece that you're wearing having the ability to be worn on its own independent of anything else. Now, sure, if you're wearing like a white t-shirt under a v-neck sweater and the t-shirt has like yellow armpit stains and grease stains, but you're wearing it because the only thing people are gonna see is like this much of the collar. Try to rethink that mindset because you probably wouldn't wear that t-shirt out on its own. The next thing that I do have to mention, and you've probably heard me talk about this before, but it might be the most critical thing in this entire video, and that is understanding proper fit. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but you can take the same exact guy wearing the same exact things and the guy that paid attention to fit is going to look 10 times better, at least. There's just no other way around it. The guy with the clothes that fits his body, no matter what type of body he has, will always look better than the guy that didn't pay attention to fit. Now this next one is personal preference, but you should at least know, I guess, what I'm talking about here. So this is called a gauntlet button. And for me, I like it there and I like it buttoned, especially if I'm gonna roll up my sleeves because that helps me have a tighter cuff around my forearm so it doesn't get loose and flop all over the place. Also, when you wear a suit jacket, sports jacket, or a blazer, and it has these two buttons on the front, the bottom button is just there for looks. Never button this bottom button for the rest of your life, ever. <laughs> also, on that same jacket, if you still have the little tack stitch, where am I at here? If you still have this tack stitch on the back, you need to remove that little thread so the vents can open up as you sort of move around and sit down. And if there's a brand label on the sleeve, that needs to be removed also. Now another move that stylish guys know is showing some sleeve cuff. So generally speaking, if you're wearing a suit jacket or a blazer, you wanna see about a half inch of your shirt sleeve with your arms hanging straight naturally down towards your sides, right? But not only that though, if you're wearing a long sleeve button down shirt under a sweater, pull the sweater sleeve up just a smidge so that you can reveal about a half inch of your shirt sleeve. It's a small little move and a small detail, but I think it's important. And because I just mentioned details, let's rapid fire a couple more of these. Stylish guys know that your belt should match your shoes. Now it doesn't have to be like a perfect exact match, but it should be as close as possible in color, shine, and formality. You should not wear a black belt with brown shoes or vice versa, right? I don't make the rules, I just report them to you guys. Also, your socks should match closely to the color of your pants. There are always going to be certain exceptions here, but again, generally speaking, if you're wearing tan chinos, wear tan or brown socks. If you're wearing blue jeans, just try to wear blue socks. You get the idea. And again, there's always exceptions to these rules, but it doesn't really make sense, I guess, to break a rule 
if you don't know the rule in the first place. And it's also more about how you break the rules than actually breaking the rule itself, if that makes any sense. Anyway, gentlemen, if you made it this far, you are definitely one of the true legends. Please subscribe if you're not already. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.